Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Shout out to all my students and of course to all the viewers and subscribers to my YouTube channel. No machine can forever be in 100% good condition. Just like these machines which I identified and which I believe are still serviceable. They only need repair to leverage their use. These machines may have problems common to other similar machines that have to be addressed. Like this late machine number 6, in which many of its spindle speed do not work. Let's try it. 345 RPM. Not working. 590 RPM. Not working. 1,500 RPM. Not working. Then 870. Not working. So 125 RPM. Okay, working. 220 RPM. Okay, working. 50. Okay, working. 85. Oh, my problem. Surely, the mating gears of these spindle speeds that do not work are not engaging. But, what is the cause of this problem? Let's find it out. Buksan natin ang headstock. Take a look at the gears for the spindle speeds. This mating gear is for 125 and 220 RPM. And the other mating gears on the upper part of the headstock are engaging. Let's look at the lower part. This is small gear which drives all the other gears for the spindle speeds that are not working is not engaging with its mating part which is the internal gear i'm sure that this is the cause of the problem with the spindle speeds but what causes it to not engage the internal gear i'm going to open the cover at the back of the heavy stack of the machine to know the answer to this question Wow! Take a look at this. The sliding part, which is the bronze, has too much clearance on this slot of this part where it slides to engage the driver gear to the internal gear. Plus the hole of this part where this bronze is mounted is also oversized, thus causing the driver gear not to reach and engage with the internal gear. It's made in part, and I'm also sure that the other Takisawa late machines with the same problem have the same solution. So, ito yung may re repair natin. Dapat lumiit yung clearance nito, bronze, dito sa sliding part na yan. Yan. Okay? Laki na ang giwang. Okay. Gawin na natin. Gutin na natin tong shafting. Yan. Sobrang laki ng clearance. Yeah. Again, for you to see it clearly, this small gear that drives all the other gears that are not working should engage in its mating part, which is the internal gear. 
but due to the excessive clearance between the sliding bronze and slot as well as the hole where the bronze is mounted, the driver gear could not engage fully into the internal gear, causing it to slip out of the internal gear. Perfect. Okay. Testing. Suave. Very good. Excellent. Walang baklas. Walang alog. Yan. O walang clearance. Yan, perfect. Before mounting the machine sliding bronze with its mating part, we must first set the speed spinning lever with the timing gear inside the head stop. Our reference spindle speeds are 870 and 1500 rpm. They must be in this position with the handle of the spinning lever in a downward position. The gears assigned for this reference spindle speed should also be set in their correct positions. Let us start with the first driver gear, which is the smallest gear mounted on the driving shaft with the pulley. Again, this was the cause of the problem. It didn't engage with the internal gear due to the worn out sliding parts that I had already fabricated, causing many of the spindle speeds to not work. So, I engage na natin sa internal gear. The second driver gear, this one, should engage with a driven gear with a smaller diameter 
to increase the output speed. Now the third driver gear, these two, should engage with a smaller driven gear to produce the highest spindle speed, which is 1500 rpm, which can be seen in the speed spinning lever. And 870 rpm when the driver gear is engaged with a bigger diameter driven gear. So everything is set in place. Let's now mount the timing gear and the newly machined parts mounted on this cover of the heavy stock. Okay, mount the nothing. Now let's test the machine whether all its spindle speeds are now working. Let's start from the highest spindle speed which is 1500. Working. 870. Working. 345. Working. 590 RPM. Working. 85 RPM. Ito yung dating maingay. Now, very smooth. 50 RPM the lowest spindle speed so all spindle speeds are now working see you again thank you very much